Ready for the fastest video trim of your life? Grab a file, drag, drop, set an in point, set an out point, export, export, and done. No joke, we just took a file clip. It's one minute and 14 seconds, and the original file was 20 minutes and 57 seconds. The software is called Lossless Cut. It's free on Mac, Linux, and Windows, and I use it all the time, especially if I forgot to hit stop on a recording. Uh, if I take some gameplay footage and drop and drag it in here, we can actually go through and set multiple little clips for highlights, hit export, and I get some options. I can either do separate files, I can make them merge into one like highlight reel, or I can keep both as a merge and separate uh, clip. We're gonna go with merge, I hit export, it's gonna go through, we're gonna see it make multiple files, so the three different clips. At the very end, it's gonna join them into one. Done, how good's that? And so now you're probably thinking, Cam, how does that work? That is insanely fast. Well, Lossless Cut effectively takes the original file and copy and pastes the segment you want into a new file. So the export speed is really just your computer copy and pasting a file. <laughs> it's insane. But there's a gotcha. See, with compressed video files, you generally have keyframes and delta frames. Now, a keyframe is like a photo. It's got every pixel in that image there. But the delta frames are just what changed since the last frame. This helps you save on file size. Because of this, lossless cut will shift your in point to the nearest keyframe, where there's actually the correct data to start a file. And these are signified by the white lines throughout the timeline. And the duration between keyframes depends on the file you're importing and the level of compression it has. Now, under export, there is an experimental feature called Smart Cut, where it will try and render the little segment between keyframes for you. I don't have much luck with it, but if that could work, it would have to be the fastest, most precise video trimmer out. Now, download links are down below. It's on the GitHub, so scroll down to the README. You'll then find the free links for Mac, Linux, and Windows. There are store links that is paid, so free from the GitHub. If you use it and love it, consider donating to Mikhail Finstad, the developer. And if you like this video, thumbs it. If you loved it, sub it. And I'll see you in the five Windows tips up here or my tech projects down below. My next one's gonna be uh, fixing and modding an Xbox, which you kind of saw a sneak peek of today. All right, see ya.